the New Modeler's Army channel. I'm Dave. So this is the third episode in the build for the amazing Zaku and the Zaku uh, uh, weapons platform. We're going to finish it off with building a base. I'm going to put some decals on it because no decals came with the kit so I found a couple of old ones I'm going to use and also we're going to build the uh, main weapon. So let's get started. We're going to use this uh, standard base. Now, I've built a couple of these, they're very easy to build, just like the kit, they're a snap fit. And uh, I've painted uh, one of these before, which was for the uh, Shinanju version car. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to paint this one. I'm not sure if I'm just going to paint it completely black, which, you know, I can use it for a different kit later on. or put the uh, color scheme of black, red, and the white on there. So anyway, let's open it up and start building this. It's pretty simple to build. It's much like the Gundam itself. Doesn't require any glue. It's the main part of the base. And a couple of screws and, and a nut instructions and just like all the other um, instructions they're in Japanese but they're quite easily read pictorially and we're gonna put this together and see how it looks on the base and then I'm going to decide whether I'm going to paint it or not so if you want to do a little label so now same thing as you're building a Gundam if you want to clean this up and uh, polish it up and you know make sure there's no nubs in it you can here we have a little uh, label or like a little like a little signpost a little, whatever you want to call it which goes pretty cool. You can put a little uh, identifier on there if you want to. Put it over here. I think I used uh, one of those for my Shenandu. Now the nice thing about this is that the they give you a whole selection of different ways uh, to basically attach the figure to the model because uh, MGs and HGs and all have different kinds of bases at the bottom to be able to attach it. Especially I know I'm going to need most of these pieces and they'll come together pretty quickly so I'm just going to cut them all off. Get them a quick clean up. I think it's really cool that Bandai made uh, you know, came up with the idea to build stands because that's probably one of the, the hardest things to do uh, you know when you're building a model is what what do you put it on do you end up having like all your aircraft flying in a row or tanks in on you know nothing so it's kind of neat that uh Bandai came up with this I know it's just uh, another way to make make a buck but uh, it's also a really nice way to uh, show off your models and my, I know my Shinanju version car, uh, that uh, has a custom base. Um, actually, had, they bought out a special Shinanju version car base. Uh, and a Shinanju base. I actually didn't get the Shinanju base. Uh, the Shinanju version car base actually just got hold of the, the Shinanju base. That's a lot of Shinanjus, isn't it? So just like when I built the model, I'm going to have to give these a coat of primer. 
and then a coat of color. Yep, more painting. This is what happens when you want to do a custom, custom gun down. So here are all the pieces for the base ready to be primed. I'm going to use uh, Tamiya's primer uh, again, the same that I use for the Gundam, and then I will give it a shot of colour. So I'm going to go get that done. While we wait for the primer to dry, I'm going to build the uh, main weapon for the Gundam. Now on the weapons platform here, we have, you know, extra knives. We have a big gun. We have magazines. We have uh, a little couple of pods of missiles. And we have the pistols. He also has pistols and pods and, and knives on the back of him here. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a custom weapon for him, just to give it a little bit of a uh, different look. And this is one of Bandai's uh, custom pieces. This is a uh, HG Customized Campaign uh, Alpha. And what Bandai did, they brought out a whole bunch of different hands and weapons and pieces that you can customize your Gundam with. So I think this would be a, a good time to use it. I got this uh, free from HLJ when I placed an order, I think it was over a couple of thousand yen of Gundam uh, models, which is kind of easy for me, or <laughs> actually too easy. Uh, they sent me a free uh, weapon, so this is a um, missile launcher. So here you can see uh, they've given you extra op optional pieces for the shoulders here. You can see this Gundam's made up of like a whole bunch of different ones. You got extra arms or different arms uh, with pieces that I can add that are on here. Uh, but really, what I want to do is just build the uh, the gun itself. So should be pretty easy.
Now I guess this is going to be the front of the sight. And sometimes in some of the uh, other kits, they actually give you a nice clear piece uh, to make it look like it's glass. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to paint, once I've given it its primer and it, the shot of color, which is probably going to be black, uh, I'm going to paint the inside of this with a really nice uh, bright green and then uh, then I'm going to put some something in there to give it a nice glossy finish. So. The base to build, the lens on the weapon to paint and add some clear and then uh, it should be done. I uh, decided not to put any decals on the kit. Uh, I really like the way the color scheme came out and I just think that uh, at the moment the decals that I have will not do uh, the model any justice so I might order a special set of decals and uh, water slide decals and then uh, probably come back to it and add a little bit more detail then. But anyway to the painting of the lens for the uh, scope on the weapon I'm going to be using Tamiya's X15 light green and I uh, chose this because it's nice and bright and I want it to stand out and it's just going to be a nice little shot of color uh, on the kit. So, I'm not thinning this down at all, I'm just using it straight out of the pot. brush here It might require two coats of paint, but we'll let it dry and then uh, see how it works. So I've given the lens a couple of coats of paint and now I'm going to put a good size amount of crystal clear in there. Start making the lens. I to build two bases at uh, the same time so we could have more of a dynamic pose for the booster and the Gundam. And just to connect them, there's a connection piece in the middle here and it just slots in. You've got to line it up like that. And then the peg goes into the bottom of the base of the booster or the Gundam. like so and then to finish off I made a little plate simply says Zaku NMA002 being that's the second model we've made in the new Modeler's Army series so there you have it the Zaku Amazing and the Amazing Booster for uh, the beginning here we have kick quality and for kick quality it got a 9 out of 10 I think Bandai makes some of the best models in the world. If you've never built a Gundam, I suggest you do. And so you can see what I'm talking about. The design work and technology and the fit is just truly amazing. Uh, a lot of, you can see a lot of thought and a lot of time and effort went into building uh, and designing these kits. So the addition of the booster, which is I think something kind of unique to the Gundam world, really added a lot to the kit. So, um, scored a 9 out of 10 for kit quality 
And then on to uh, instructions. The instructions scored an 8 out of 10. And it scored an 8 out of 10 because I really would like to see a few lines of English text just explaining what the symbols mean. And uh, I think that would be really helpful to a beginner. I've built a couple of these already, so I'm kind of used to what the instructions are going to look like. And, you know, you just use the pictures to, for the build, which is, you know, it's easily done. But I think a few lines of text uh, in English would definitely help out uh, in the build. And then on to the decals uh, quality. Well, there really was no decals. Uh, I was going to put some on, but I decided the paint looked good enough to stand on its own. Uh, it did come with a couple of stickers, which is pretty standard for... Uh, you know a kit uh, like this I guess it keeps the price down but you only get a couple of stickers so 5 out of 10 uh, for that you'll see in their MG's and the RG kits and especially the PG's you'll see a lot of stickers or decals or the best of the water slide decals so on to pricing I gave it a 9 out of 10 uh, even though I spent a lot of money on the paint, probably it's more money on the paint than I did the model itself. The, uh, even though I, I was really happy with the way the paint came out, I wanted to show that it could be done with a spray can. Uh, that way, you know, anybody could do it. But if you want to save some money, use the airbrush. And I will be using the airbrush in the future. So, uh, scored a 9 out of 10 because you can actually build this kit on its own, no paint. And it's a great standalone uh, model and uh, I think it's a very good value. I ordered this from HLJ so I got a pretty good deal being that you know they it's imported directly from Japan. And then on to the uh, overall satisfaction I decided to give a, a score of 10 out of 10 because I love building these Zakus. It just kind of fits my personality I like the, the design and the technology that they put into these. Building the Booster 2 was something I'd never done before and that was a lot of fun. It was kind of cool to see how that would come together. And of course, putting it on the bases, you know, elevating it up and giving it a little bit more of a dynamic pose, I think really does help uh, quite a bit. So 10 out of 10 for that. Definitely want to build more of these in the future and you will see uh, a lot more Gundam coming along. But that gave it an overall score of 8.2 out of 10. A little lower than the Jeep, but considering that this is just really a simple uh, snap fit kit, I think that's a very good score. I think most Gundams are probably going to score quite highly. Uh, and I think you will see that in the future when we, uh, we build some more of these. But 8.2 out of 10 I think is a very good score. And that's the end of the uh, Gundam build. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more coming in the future. We're going to build some HGs and RGs, uh, MGs, of course, and then a PG. Uh, and then if I can get hold of a Meta Mega Zaku in the future, I will. That'd be a really good uh, custom build right there. But thank you for watching the New Models Army channel. If you want to hit subscribe and join the New Models Army today, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the new year with a build and it's going to be an aircraft. So I look forward to building that and I'll see you soon.